Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of First 15 on Pastiche of Skin. Today, they're playing Nebulous. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of First 15 here on Pastiche of Skin. This is a demo that I was trying out on the PlayStation 4. I have a severe feeling, a serious feeling, a thought that this might be designed for PlayStation VR. I, I don't know if you, I don't know if you notice I don't know if you notice but apparently it's using a lot of kind of like a visual looking controls to look around and it appears to actually have a full range of motion for looking around. I imagine this is something that we're going to have to start dealing with really awkward GUI systems as soon as you start playing games because they expect you to be wearing something on top of your head. Now I'm not going to get too angry about that but let's take a look at Nebulous. Trust them to even strap on Velcro shoes without a helping hand. If I were not here to perform this spacewalk, those sign sabs would surely be. Oh, yeah. You are an asshole. I am not feeling bad for you in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> So yeah, essentially what Nebulous is, a puzzle game. A puzzle game where an asshole spaceman is floating through space and you have to stop him from dying and get him from portal to portal until he can portal his way home. Yeah, I can get that. Um, it Essentially, it reminds me of like uh, creating your own Rube Goldberg machines. You have to find a way of like linking moving panels and positions to get him to where he needs to be. I remember there being... Dozens of games kind of in this vein back in the early 8-bit and 16-bit eras. I, I'm trying to remember ones off the top of my head. I remember them being like weirdly branded kind of ones as well. It's a fun enough game style. I can understand this. I, I, I do like working around a little puzzle and kind of like just shifting things in the right places. But yeah, I, I, I could see this wearing very, very thin, very quick. Yeah, breathe all you need to breathe, but honestly, I'd rather you just stop breathing. He's a weird chap, isn't he? So essentially what you do is you unlock each gate as he falls through. He bounces into things and woo, falls down through it. So yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Um, with just an increasing level complexity one after another where you have either moving positions, moving panels, things that launch them forward and back. I, I, essentially, I'm just going to kind of go through a quick compilation of ones here because I could just show 50 minutes of gameplay, but there's not really much that stands out except for this weird choice to actually have a view screen in, that you look around and you shift from panel to panel to rather than just literally having a screen that switches for you. It feels so much like a really horribly unintuitive manner of trying to push VR or a kind of... Um, the mechanics that would actually be involved in wearing a headset. It's... It, it, it's mildly nauseating just in its own way, but I just find that it's reinventing the wheel just because the wheel itself has ceased to exist. You know, uh, it, it's... If this is what the movement of VR technology is going to be, is just making GUIs that then mean that not using VR is more awkward for the purposes of trying to market the tools and toys that actually are going to be pushed next... Uh, it, it's an end, a be all to end all in its own way. It, it's essentially making something for the purposes of making money rather than actually for innovation and creation. Um, I imagine it's going to happen a lot more with these smaller games, with these smaller projects. But I don't know. It, it makes me worried. It makes me worrisome, especially with the kind of pricing that they have on a lot of the games that are available on the PSVR's launch. None of them seem to be really outright full-fledged games rather than a mini game that has repeated content or something that's highly repeatable, re repeatable? repeatable in multiplayer which is fine uh, it, it, ju it just doesn't show me where the range is and I'm yet to see that really kind of like coming into its own I was sitting watching people having a discussion earlier on today about Elite Dangerous with a headset 
and throttle controls. That sounds amazing. I what I would love to see is something like oh uh, Iron Battalion was it with the massive unnecessarily <laughs> complex control system then applied with a headset because that would be kind of mad that would be like that, uh, to have a control surface that you can represent and follow admittedly really where you need to be at that step where you can have the control surface a set of gloves that track your hands and the headset and then you truly truly would be fully immersed which is a hardware and do had and do dickery issue that we'll get into i'm sure as time progresses on because everybody will complain about every other peripheral that you're going to require but we all bought a rock you're not rock hero guitar hero or rock band guitar and drums at some point until we got to the point where those just amassed within all of the secondhand stores till they wouldn't take anymore uh, I feel like I'm just having a mini rant while looking at this game. It, I, mostly it's because this guy annoys the hell out of me, the, the spaceman, but it's just something that actually... I I thought this would be a really good articulation, visually, <laughs> of what happens whenever we go, well, VR is the next big thing, okay? So, what do we do with it whenever our game's not designed for it? This doesn't help guys this really doesn't help so please please i want to see something that actually makes good use of this uh, i'm finished my little rant anyway guys so thanks very much for listening uh, this has been nebulous this has been my like first 15 moment minutes playing it but you're going to get you get the concept very very quickly uh, first 15 is such a misnomer these days i probably will just stop calling them that and just refer to this as podcasty rants or thoughts and opinions for a few minutes. Unless the game really does deserve an actual 15 minutes of gameplay. Well, in this case, you obviously see what it's like. What else can I show you? Uh, that would just be ruining the puzzles of the game. Nebulous is a good bit of fun. It's UI just noise the hell out of me. Just, it's, it's just very, very un unintuitive and uncomfortable which I'm sure is designed for future-proofing themselves in some manner or form. Enjoy it. Enjoy the puzzles. Enjoy the crack of it. I hope you do. I will see you guys all in the next video where I'll probably not call it First 15. I'll just call it a little rant. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.